But you know, before, before I got married, people used to always ask me, Cotilda, when will you have a child? Eh? You, you're running out of time. Let me tell you why I didn't want to have a child. You see, having a child when you are broke <laughs> is very different from having a child when you have money. See, when you are broke, that's why you hear these hospitals, these random hospitals, whenever you pass, people are making noise. Woo! <laughs> For some reason, because when you are broke, you, even the way you show up in hospital is different. You know some cousin of yours who just had a kid who's now four months, so you have like three onesies that have some measles on them, but they can still work. So everyone gives you something to support you in the process. So it is like the child can sense that things are hard. Those are the people you hear, they've been in labor for 17 hours. <laughs> you see this, when you have some money, they go to hospital, eh? they have a Gucci blanket, a Versace towel, they show up like they are shifting. There is a maid behind rolling two suitcases. She has, she's just coming to give birth. Eh? And then the gentleman is there outside with flowers, just waiting. But my friend, when you are broke, See, even those children, as soon as the mom, they just say, push, one, two, the child comes out. <sighs> because every child, this is what I believe, every child makes a sneak peek. So the child is like, it's okay. <laughs> but when you are broke, my friend, that's when the doctor, the midwife, they're saying, push, even the child is like, mm -hmm. is pushing the child is also those are the children they say the child is in the wrong position inverted themselves they are refusing to come out the, the mother is pushing push the child is no at some point they even try to commit suicide don't you hear those things they say that the child had the umbilical cord tied around the neck it's not a coincidence the child was 